Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, a free site, bettingangle.us, a free site. Today is April 12, 2024. Let's talk about a quick bet that I'm going to discuss making in baseball. But first, remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now, let me just say in an earlier video, I uh, made the case that the Otani situation could weigh on the Dodgers for the entire year. I just found it to be unbelievable that the interpreter, without Otani's authorization or ratification, was able to get access to millions of dollars of Otani's money and bet it with an illegal bookie. I thought the story was ridiculous, especially given the inconsistency um, when compared to the initial statements that were released concerning the matter. Well, now we have more information. Now, I believe the official version, which is that the interpreter was embezzling from Shohei Otani, right? Also, it matters greatly that the bets did not involve bets on baseball, right? So there's no possibility of Otani uh, shading his performance uh, to win a bet on a game, uh, etc. Throwing games, nothing like that. So today, I could have gotten a better price earlier, but I did wait. I've taken the Dodgers plus 330 to win the World Series Keep in mind, I already have action on the Atlanta Braves, right? I feel I have the National League somewhat covered. Um, I just think the Dodgers are too deep. I think the Dodgers have too much pitching. I think guys like Otani uh, can carry the team through slow moments. I think the Dodgers, if you look at their record, maybe when they get to the postseason, they have problems but they have a pretty good track record of making it to the postseason in the last few years. I like the Dodgers. I've um, started a position on them. Understand, as the season progresses, if the Dodgers are better than I think, I'll increase the position. If other teams suddenly emerge, then I'll put money on those other teams. Right now, I like the Dodgers at a plus 330 to win it all. Understand, typically, these odds would be terrible on a futures bet made before April 15th. But the Dodgers are a very rare team. Let's talk about basketball just briefly. Uh, the Knicks uh, put down a beating on the Boston Celtics. People need to stay away from the Celtics right here. Understand, I believe the Celtics can sleepwalk their way into the NBA Finals. Let's get real too. The Celtics would have home court in the NBA Finals. The Celtics are awfully hard to beat in Boston, right? But right now, the Celtics have nothing to play for. They're the one seed in the East. If, it, if they make it to the Finals, they're the one seed in the Finals. So the Celtics have been playing uninspired basketball, right? This is the time where the team is resting guys, it's trying out different combinations, um, etc. I think the Celtics are unreliable at this stage, um, even, you know, especially when they play a team like the Knicks that actually is still hoping to rise up in the rankings, right? If you're a basketball better, you cannot go on the analytics here, right? Analytics... I love them when a team has an incentive to win. There is no incentive here for the Boston Celtics since they've already locked up the one seed throughout the playoffs and the finals. I would stay away from the Celtics, and I expect the Celtics to make the NBA Finals. I believe the Celtics coming out of the Eastern Conference is one of the best bets someone can make, especially with... Giannis having calf problems, understand, calf problems are the kind of thing that brought down Kevin Durant. A calf is a very tricky injury. This is not like a sprained ankle. This is far worse. 
right? I don't think Boston has any competition in the Eastern Conference. Uh, I believe Jalen Brown is playing spectacular basketball. He's not going to win MVP. But let's just say he's been playing at an MVP level for at least the last three months. And, of course, the Celtics have Jason Tatum, um, Porzingis, uh, Drew Holiday. I think the fact, too, that the Celtics have now agreed to a long-term deal with Drew Holiday assures everyone in the building that the Celtics are committed to making a sustained run, not just for this year, but for the next few years, right? So I love the Celtics' chances of winning the Eastern Conference. Love them. But I'm not going to touch the Celtics no matter who they play, and I know they have some cream puffs coming up on the schedule. I love the Celtics, but I'm not going to bet on them the rest of the regular season. Those are my thoughts today. Let me hear yours. If there are playing angles you feel that have revealed themselves that you want to share with the public, please feel free to do so in the comment section of this YouTube video. Thanks for stopping by.